Old Mission Dam has been designated a registered National Historic Landmark under the provisions of the Historic Sites Act of August 21st, 1935. This site possesses exceptional value in commemorating and illustrating the story of the United States, U.S. Department of the Interior National Park Service, 1963. Mission Trails is a location with history that dates back many years. It has been around since 1960 and when they started building everything. It has 1,765 acres of land and it's a natural place where people can hike. It has been used for recreational purposes such as a campground. It is agricultural because animals live there, such as a mountain lion has been reported, and species of birds. Species-wise, it has changed over the years and people are welcome there. We just can't cross certain points. While at Mission Trails, I came across rabbit droppings as well as dog. A non-native plant is an Acacia cyclops. Another non-native plant is an Alanthus altezima. Native plants and animals that live there are the big berry, manzanita, baby rabbits, and penstemon spectabilis. Due to the amount of people that were there, I cannot find any sign of wildlife there. The health of our location is very well. I found no more than two pieces of trash. Also, it's impacted by humans because they're people that bike and there's homes very close to mission trails. The content and purpose of the Sigil story is to show people different things in your community such as climate change, changes in weather. Also, it is important that you know the use of the land and observe what is happening around you because it can affect you or habitats living there. This is to make people aware of what is around them and that if there's a problem as a community, we need to fix it. The forest health of this location, Mission Trails, is very healthy. The people who are in charge of cleaning up the place take good care of it and take it seriously because again, if the place is polluted with a good amount of trash, it can highly affect the habitats that are there as well as the species. The forest climate varies in seasons. During the summer, it is hot but windy. During the fall and winter, it's very cold and windy and you can hear all the leaves fall. I go there often to run and hike as well as other people. It is very human friendly and open to the public. There are many homes built feet away from the forest known as mission trails. Another fun fact is that our location can lead you to a hiking spot named Cal's Mountain.